Hello everyone, and uh, yes, there is like a weird coloured version of Sonic. Um, there is a reason why I made it, but I can't say yet. It's for a project I'm working on. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I don't want to accidentally. Uh, con I don't want to accidentally uh, like contradict myself or anything. Like say this project is coming, and then like you know. And then like, say what the project is and end up cancelling it, alright? So I'm not going to say what the project is yet. It will... I, I'm not going to say what it is, but yes, it is for a project I'm working on. But <clears throat> that's not why we're here. Uh, we're here today... Oh, and also another reason why it's here is because like, I needed a placeholder for something. But uh, what I'm here today... It, what I'm here for today, I was thinking... What would a video game based on the Sonic movie be like? Why don't we take a look? Now, uh, what? Here's an idea I have for, like, you know, a, a video game based on the Sonic movie. Now, if let's say there is a video game based on Sonic Movie Two in the works, which I highly doubt, but let's say there is, here's something I think they should do. They should do what the Lego games did and have where you play through all of the movies, or at least some of them, depending on how many we're going to get. Pretty much. Right now, let's only focus on the first, let's only focus on the two movies, because right now those are the only ones that are a thing at the moment. I like, you know, I know Sonic Movie 2 is not out yet, but it's still a thing, they've wrapped up filming, so yeah. And also the plot for that one was revealed, alright? Right. But before we delve into that, let's have, let's just talk about one thing. We need to have multiple playable characters. Now, during the Sonic One port, now during the Sonic Movie One portion of the game, you just play as Sonic. That's all, because he's the only character from the games. In it, like, well, him and Eggman. In fact, you could, in fact, you could just like you know, oh, have maybe a few Eggman levels here or there, but you don't know. Oh. Oh, but for its sequel, but for the second movie, obviously, because Tails and Knuckles are in there, you would have to have Sonic, Tails and Knuckles be playable. Makes the most sense. Now, uh, how are we going to do it? Are we going to do it like a 2D game or a 3D game? That, I think, is open to interpretation. So, I'm not, I'm not going to say whether this is 3D or 2D. That can be up to you, pretty much. I'll leave that up to you. You know, so what kind of gameplay styles are we talking about? All right, all right. So Sonic can play like how he did in a... May, like, you know, maybe let's have him play like how he did in Sonic Advance and all that. Uh, but with a homing attack, pretty much. So we don't have a boot... So we don't have a boost here, because a lot of people are sick and tired of the boost, pretty much. So it's more like Sonic Advance slash Sonic Adventure. I think that's a bit more of a perfect fit here. Yeah. As for Knuckles, I would say uh, he can play like how he did, like I said, in Sonic Advance. No treasure hunting. Fuck that shit. Get rid of that immediately. So no treasure hunting. As for Tails, like I said, Sonic Adventure, pretty much. But without racing, I guess you could say. Hey, um, and that's another thing. How about we add in extra missions? Like, how? here's something. Make it open world. What do I mean by that? Well, so, like, uh, you guys might be familiar with a game known as... Oh, uh, no, free games based on... Three Marvel movies that are based on a certain superhero. I'm of course talking about the video games based on the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. 
what all of them had in common is that they were open world. And, like, you know, I think it makes sense to make the Sonic, uh, the games based on the Sonic movies open world. I think it makes sense. If we're going for a 3D perspective here. You know, uh, so, yeah, like, like, you know, hub worlds, like, not open world, you know what I mean. Like, let's have some hub worlds, pretty much. You know, so, yeah. How many levels should each movie have? I think they should have 10 levels each, pretty much. You know, 10 levels for the first movie, 10 levels for the second movie. No, actually, no, scratch that. Uh, 10 levels for the first movie, 20 levels for the second movie. There, done. So that'll be 30 levels in total, pretty much. Uh, another thing. Have the voice actors from the movie reprise their roles, if you can afford them, that is. So, like, you know, you have, like, so you have Ben Schwartz, the Sonic and Aegis Elba as Knuckles, and whoever the hell's going to be playing Tails in the movie. Seriously, can we get a fucking in confirmation of who's playing Tails here? Seriously, I've been dying to know. Sorry about that. Uh so, yeah, you get them. You also get James Marston, you get Tika Sumter, and you get Jim Carrey, pretty much. You get all of those actors back. Give them new dialogue as well. So, like, let's say, like, you know, like, f like give them new dialogue. Now, how are we going to do with the cutscenes? Even though I don't mind, even though I do like it when video games use scenes from the movies as cutscenes, even though I don't mind that, I think for this type of game, it wouldn't really work. I think you would have to come up with new cutscenes here, which means you would have to not, which means you would have to have the same plot, but also sort of rewrite it as well. Oh, you know, because that's not a common thing in most video game movies. Now you can have un, now you can have scenes be unlockable from the movie, which would be kind of stupid. I mean, like. On the one hand, yes, that is kind of pointless because the internet exists, so you can just Google the clips. Or you can just, like, you know, put in the DVD or Blu-ray or put in your digital copy. It, but it's an idea nonetheless. Uh, so, yeah. I, I know this video seems a bit rushed, but I kind of just wanted to make a video about the Sonic movies. And Sonic Movie 2 is not coming out for another good few months, so... I had to have something, and yeah. Um, well, I know the trailer for Sonic Movie 2 will be premiering at CinemaCon, and like, you know, I I doubt we will get anything, I doubt we will get anything released to the public until like at least September. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we will get a, the trailer released to the public for Sonic Movie 2 on the day Sonic Colors Ultimate comes out. And also, I hope for the love of God, Sonic Movie 2 doesn't get delayed. Alright, bye!